the door. I am doing an acrylic pour on a vase and a canvas tonight. I got the vase from the Dollar Tree and the canvas I got from Hobby Lobby. It's 11 by 14. I am going to use strainer, a kitchen sink strainer to do my pour. So this isn't going to be a dirty pour. The pour is going to be straight from straight colors, white, red, and rose gold. The white and red are Anita's acrylic from Hobby Lobby and the rose gold is a Anita acrylic metallic from Hobby Lobby. I mixed the white and the red two parts flow trawl to one part paint and then this I've had this mixed up for since last winter but it's still good because I kept it in two parts flow trawl to one part paint no water because the metallics are thinner than the regular acrylic. I've got my masking tape on the bottom of my canvas and I've got my tacks on here and I'm not going to be using my Lazy Susan because I'm going to be pouring inside the strainer. I've got my torch, I've got my trusty tweezers after the paint flows on the canvas then I'm going to take this off and tilt and make sure I've got this even in the center the best I can. Now before I put this on the canvas I knocked the canvas to make sure it sounded like a drum that means it's you know tight. If it doesn't sound like a drum, you can get uh, some water and spray on the back of it and then tighten it up because you want it to sound like a drum so the paint doesn't pull to the center. Now, this is putting weight on the center of the canvas. <clears throat> so, I mean, but this isn't gonna be on there that long. Let's get started. First color I'm gonna use is white. Now, I don't have a lot of the rose gold in here. So I'm gonna save it for like the end, toward the end of a few rounds because what I put in there last is gonna be on the top layer. So I'm not concerned about that right now. I'm just gonna do the white and red and then I will add the rose gold later before I finish. But I'm just gonna pour this around. about using a strainer on the base is when I pick this up there's going to be a little bare spot there but sometimes I just tilt the base to fill in that spot. So I'm going to have to let this stop flowing for a while before I can do, move it to do the canvas. See, that's what I'm talking about. Well, there we go. <laughs> That'll work, right? Let's get that out of the way. The base has slowed down so I'm going to move it where I put this on the cup. Be very careful. It's okay if you touch the bottom of the rim of the base because the paint will continue to flow. Cover the edges. Pop any bubbles. Yeah, it's tilting. Not a lot, but there are sales. Got all of the edge of the canvas covered. I will bring you down and give you a close up. 